Alright guys, so we're over here by the red cells and the romaine lettuce. Let's go ahead and harvest some today. Hey guys, Blaze Bros here, and welcome back to the Kansas Teens Gardening Series. Anybody up for a garden salad? Let's, Let's go. go. Alright guys, so Isaiah and Cornell are out in the garden today and they are harvesting all the lettuce from the fall. All of it is starting to bolt so we want to make sure we get as much out as we can. Isaiah, do you want to show us how to harvest the leaf? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so what do we do first son when you get ready to harvest your leaf? So first you want to go down to the stem to the very bottom then you want to twist this one might be still good or not maybe not but you want to go down and twist off so you make sure not to break the actual stem right so the ones that are touching the ground we're going to leave those because they're dirty and they're scarred so we don't we have a lot of lettuce to harvest so we're just going to harvest the ones that look the best all the way up to the top all right cornell yep that is a little burnt leaf. Oh, we don't have to use that one, dear. We have too many of these pretty ones. Alright guys, here's a quick tip. If you guys want to harvest your lettuce, you have to harvest it in the cool weather. It's like an early morning, so it won't wilt. <laughs> guys, I'll give this a taste test. So, uh, three, two, one, let's go. So this is uh, nice and vegetable <laughs> that's the word. And uh, yes, it's a tad bit bitter, but you know, uh, the darker uh, leaves do have a tad bit of bitterness and the lighter leaves have a little bit of, you know, juicier texture and uh, nice, it's a little bit sweeter than this one. But uh, yeah, it's, it is very, very green. It uh, tastes, tastes very fresh and uh, straight from the ground. I can definitely taste the difference between the store bought and the, um, our, our garden. So, uh, yeah, I definitely taste the difference. So, thumbs up. Alright guys, so we're over here by the spinach, let's go ahead and cut it so we can add it to our salad. Alright guys, spinach and lettuce is a cut and come again crop, so don't cut off the top. Alright guys, we harvest our romaine and spinach, now let's go make this salad. Let's do it. There are several different methods to cleaning your lettuce and spinach and greens. And here are a couple of tips that you can use for the home gardener that'll be really simple and easy to do. You can just simply wash your greens in a strainer, making sure to get off all of the debris, any looking for any type of bugs that may be on your lettuce or your greens, and washing off any dirt that is found on the leaves. You can use your strainer and use your sprayer to really power pressure wash the greens and then strain it well. And then you could also use the soaking method, which I really like for any greens. And this is for greens from the grocery store or greens straight out of the garden. You want to always make sure to submerge your greens as much as possible in really cool water 
and just soaking them, washing them well, looking at the leaves, or you don't want any damaged leaves for presentation when you're serving. And then you wanna, of course, make sure you're removing any bugs or any dirt that's on your leaves. I filled up my sink here full of water, and it's cool water because the greens will be revived and refreshed when they're in cool water. It'll just really help to get all of the debris off of your greens. Another thing that you can consider doing if you're getting your greens from the grocery store and you might be subjected to harmful pesticides or insecticides that have been sprayed on your greens, you can soak them in the water, cool water, and also add baking soda. The baking soda will help remove any of the chemicals that may be found on your leaves and this will help to clean the leaves as well. What I have next to the water is a strainer. I'm going to carefully remove a nice handful of the greens and I'm going to also rinse them again, another good rinse of cool water and with a sprayer into my strainer. At this time, you can use a salad spinner if you really want your greens really, really dry or if you need them immediately. A salad spinner would be really good for this particular stage or if you don't have a salad spinner, you, you could just use your strainer and just lay them out on a paper towel. So here today, I'm gonna show you how I store the greens and I want them to stay nice and crisp. So I just roll out a paper towel and I lay the greens out on the paper towel to dry. I let them air dry and I cover them with the paper towel while they're air drying just to make sure that no debris or anything like that gets on my greens. And then once they've dried really well, I'll just go ahead and roll them up and place them in a Ziploc bag, but I'll leave the Ziploc bag open so that the greens can get a little bit of air. And that is it. That's how we harvest, clean and prep our greens and our lettuce straight from the garden. I hope this has been helpful. Like this video if you like it and I hope you do. Subscribe if you're new and share this video if you want to and I will see you on our next video guys. Bye.